hello Sagittarius welcome back to my channel thank you guys for joining me this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus and Earth mode let's see what comes out for you guys today I hope you guys are doing well and um please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for you guys Sag so let's see this was a very beautiful reading last time so let's see if you still got the same energy okay so I'm gonna take these two that came out we have secrecy. There's a situation or a person that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. Then we have soulmate. A soulmate connection is making its way to you. Keep your heart open and don't fear letting love in. Know that you are being divinely guided to be in each other's lives. The first thing I heard was hidden feelings, hidden emotions. Somebody could be hiding something more than that, but yeah, you're connecting to a soulmate. For some of you, it's a karmic soulmate where you're just supposed to learn lessons from them. They're hiding a lot of bullshit. But let's see. For Sag, what else do we have for Sagittarius Spirit? One more. Thank you. Yeah, ending. It says, something will come to an end that must take place before you can free yourself to move forward. <clears throat> Let go of what was. Celebrate the good and forgive the bad. It's all part of the journey. Yeah, so you could be ending something with a soulmate. I mean, we have a lot of them. And maybe you're going into a soulmate connection here. After you end this with someone that's been holding back from you or hiding from you, you know. But let's see what we have, Sag. Spirit guys, angels for Sagittarius, please give me clear messages for Sagittarius. I love my Sagis. <laughs> Especially, I like the masculine Sag. I mean, I love women Sagittarius. Do I have? Sagittarius North Node. I have Sagittarius uh, houses in my chart, but I'm just saying. The men, I guess because I'm really attracted to the men. <laughs> but I love Sagittarius. I love all y'all. Just period. But anyways, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, King of Cups. As I said that, and the truth, right? <laughs> Literally, somebody hiding their feelings from you or has been having problems being emotional with you and shit like that. I feel like it's coming out. What else for Sagittarius? I love my deck, man, because I, I connect with them so much. They be giving me the tea. Three of Cups. Yeah, look at them. They're ready to come in and, and, and apologize to you, reconcile with you here. Yeah, there's there's something coming up here. <laughs> Reconciliation or reuniting. Celebration of some sort. What else for um Six of Cups? <laughs> Someone from your past returning. Reconciliation energy, most definitely. Sag. <laughs> What else for Sagittarius? All right. The Four Swords. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. You could be healing from um, past people. Maybe friends or something here that you share like past lives with or something that you needed to clear out in a past life and never got cleared out. Now you're here clearing it out, right? You're healing, you're resting, you're contemplating things. I feel like somebody feels like they don't have enough to offer you or they can't give you anything. Page of Pentacles in reverse though is not solid. We're going to clarify this and see what that Page of Pentacles is in reverse because it, it's just, somebody's just not... um. For some of you, this has something to do with kids here. You you could be receiving bad news about something. That's what that could be. I couldn't spit it out. You could be receiving bad news about something. <clears throat> or somebody in your energy is receiving bad news. Yeah, bad news in, in regards to money. Or somebody here could be a little obsessed with Tarot, watching Tarot and shit to figure things out. Or their next move. I mean, you know. <laughs> let's see let's get the other row it's like i don't know somebody here is coming back possibly but they don't have like no follow through or somebody that didn't follow through with you was returning it's like disloyalty unfaithfulness so somebody here had to end something with the page of pentacles in reverse person they're just loyal dishonest they just i don't know they could have been doing magic too obsessively watching your person or watching you if this is you like tarot through tarot and shit or like i said magic but what else for sag two of pentacles 
yeah king of cups i just knew that was gonna come out but yeah somebody wants to bring something back into balance there could be somebody somebody has a lot on their plate right now they're trying i feel like they're trying to balance out their emotions for you they do they think about you all the time they dream about you yeah six of cups four swords this person is dreaming about you they're thinking about you but somebody is hidden feelings that's supposed to be coming out or that that's going to be what else for sag the page damn page of pentacles in reverse page of cups in reverse uh, what what else the fool in reverse could be an aries leo i mean an aries or aquarius somebody here is in like a a trickster energy or i don't know it could be like shapeshifter energy there's a reconciliation that is supposed to be coming but i feel like we have the page of cups right here in reverse of the king of cups so let's just clarify there's something about Someone needing to heal. Someone needs to heal their inner child wounds or something like that. Because they just all over the place. I feel like this page of cups in reverse is representing this person that doesn't know how to explain themselves or express their emotions. They're just like, they're really emotionally immature. They could have been emotionally unavailable at one point. The fool in reverse is like somebody's scared to take a risk or take a chance or making foolish decisions. So somebody here could be in dumbass energy, but we're going to see what is this okay what is this three of cups right here for sag something about kids too somebody's childish i'm hearing yeah five of wands and the king of wands so a lot of passionate arguments going back and forth amongst maybe friends family Something here could be breaking out at an event, like a, a, a conflict or a, like a fight breaking out at um, a party or a gathering. Something here that you're supposed to be celebrating. Somebody's fighting. I feel like somebody's in competition with you, Sag. Like they want your spot. They want this reconciliation with this person. But you're too fucking sexy. The King of Wands. You just, you just look too good. Somebody here is very egotistical, though. They are. They just like to fight. They like to fuss. This person is just... They're a hot ass mess. Somebody's just uh, who's this King of Wands right here? For Sag. Who's this King of Wands? The Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Somebody here that you possibly was given to or this person was supporting here. One more for the King of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Someone keeping you trapped, keeping you stuck. Okay, it could be another fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, or this is you. But it's like there was some support here at once upon a time now there's a fight there's an argument there's a breakout of a disagreement or whatever and it got it's people involved friends or whatever the case may be somebody here could just overindulge they could be a drinker or a party or they just like to party they don't really bring nothing else to the table but that but they want somebody to keep supporting them <laughs> right keep being stuck in this this mind-boggling bullshit like no absolutely the fuck not this is somebody possibly you were giving to it once upon a time and now they want to what bring balance to this reconcile with you and so i feel like i feel like you know somebody's ready to take action on you and actually give to you but then they, they have these people back here possibly okay that's what could be what that is this person just feels stuck in their mind or they feel confused what is this six of cups <laughs> For Sag, the two of wands. So, yeah, someone making a decision. Yeah, somebody's making a decision to move forward and go back to someone that they want to be with or that they're dreaming about a lot. Yeah, it's like it's like somebody is suddenly making moves or suddenly there's some waiting. I feel like the waiting is this whatever this conflict is. What is this? Um, They're literally standing in the way of a reunion. Excuse me. That's what that could be. What else for the Six of Cups? Yeah. It's Four of Swords again. Clarifying the Four of Swords in the main spread. Yeah, this person is just... They're, they're really dreaming about you, though. So if you think about this person, it's because they are. But I feel like they're healing something from their past. They made a decision to come towards you, yes. 
but they're healing something or before they can come in yeah closing the cycle out of the betrayal the sneakiness the whatever this is they're trying to be very strategic too with their moves because it's just like somebody here is in the way go figure what is this four swords in the main spray of spirit for sag We got five of swords yeah it's like somebody is just oh uh, they are so stressed dealing with whoever this, this is playing mind games somebody is in very much deceptive energy could be an air sign aries i mean aquarius could be an aries but aquarius libra or gemini somebody got some deceptive people around them here that they're trying to move past or that they're healing from this person could just be in their head a lot too they could overthink like a lot of shit could be mental confusion and, and self-imposed imprisonment or i don't know king of swords flipped over what is this four swords in the main spread the chariot yeah it's like somebody's moving forward somebody could be trying to fuck with someone's car you know fuck with the gas tank or do some weird shit but uh, Somebody could be GPS tracking. I don't know why I heard that. Like they tracking somebody, got a tracker on their car. Ugh. Just, yeah. But somebody's moving forward from this with the chariot. Could be dealing with the cancer. It's like somebody's moving forward. They're moving on. Just period. So, you know, all this shit. I feel like this person is in an energy of like, I'm going to win something at all costs. I'm going to get out of this bullshit no matter how i gotta do it i'm gonna get out of it but i also feel like they're dealing with some deception what is this page of pentacles in reverse somebody is childish what is this page of pentacles in reverse the emperor yeah somebody that wants full control over someone somebody that is very like they're just nothing but bad news they're childish they come off as like oh I'm, i got this i got that and i'm this and that and whoop de woos like no you're not you're the exact opposite <clears throat> very disloyal could be an aries like i said what is this page of pentacles in reverse with the emperor <clears throat> the judgment yeah they're under judgment they're getting karma for whatever they're doing i feel like somebody's highly protected if this is you and this emperor energy you're taking back control of your life like you're standing in your your power you're standing up to whoever this immature energy is yeah, and you're working through whatever energy this this is. Like you're just could be your divine masculine possibly wants to um come back to you, to, uh, Sagittarius. Who is this emperor? Yeah, the strength card. Somebody that's weak as fuck. Somebody's weak. That's what this is right here. Somebody is just very controlling, possessive. Like they like to have control over you. So I'm not surprised that they do do magic. They want you to be weak. They want to take your strength, your confidence here. This is somebody that's insecure. <laughs> but they're under judgment. They're under heavy judgment here. They are by the divine. Could be a Scorpio. I feel like there's a divine masculine here that is awakening to the judgment. But they're trying to gain back their strength. They don't have the courage to move forward because their money matters could be looking funny possibly for some of you. Somebody could be doing magic on their finances. I'm just saying. What is this two of pentacles right here? <sighs> Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody taking action though. Somebody's taking action on their life, trying to get their shit together. You know, trying to balance things out, actually doing, you know, making some movement. There's somebody coming in. I mean, I see messages all over the place. They just seem like they're bad messages. They're like somebody's getting on your fucking nerves. Or getting on your person's nerve or whatever, but this person is maybe rushing in to bring back balance with this connection. What what else for the two of pentacles with the knight of swords? Or somebody is um mad about something. The king of cups again. So clarifying the king of cups. This person is definitely taking action towards you to to tell you how they feel. They need to be honest with you about it. And I feel like they they're hoping that it could bring balance to the situation. It, it needs to be revealed. I just feel like they're really tired of holding back. Um, but this person could be having financial issues, though. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> they definitely could. They could be struggling financially or something. Yeah. This person could have a problem with... They just don't know how to express themselves. What are this King of Cups in the main spread? 
the higher fan. Yeah, they want a higher level of commitment with you. They do. I mean, it's genuine. They just got some shit going on. <laughs> yeah, but there's something coming here. I feel like this person is probably getting advice from a mentor or, like I said, to row a high priestess type of person, a psychic. You know, somebody that's like a wise counsel. This person is learning, though. The, the higher thing here, this, this person is learning how to express themselves. They're learning how to speak. They could have communication issues. Yeah, I feel like they're surrendering. They're conforming to this now. It's like, I can't run from it anymore. I need to just tell this person how I feel. Fuck it. What else for the King of Cups with the Hierophant? Yeah, Five of Cups in reverse. Somebody coming out of regret, remorse, sadness. It's like, I want this person. I'm coming to get them, just period. Could be dealing with the Taurus. They're scared as fuck, though. Or oh, I don't know who this is. I want to clarify. <clears throat> but yeah, it's like, it's no point in me sitting here being sad and regretful and all of that when I can just go and tell this person how I feel. It's just, it's that fucking simple. And it is, I mean... People just got a big ego. They don't like being rejected and shit. So, you know how that go. What is this page of cups here in reverse? Yeah, what is this page of cups here in reverse? The six of cups again. Yeah, someone from your past. That's definitely someone from your past. It could be multiple people from your past, Sagittarius. Because it's definitely not just one energy here. Yeah, king of wands, king of cups twice. Knight of Swords, these pages here in reverse, these can be kids or just younger people. Three of Cups, that's people. Five of Wands, that's people. Like, it's just people everywhere here. The Emperor. <laughs> what is What else for the Page of Cups in reverse? Yeah, somebody's healing. Somebody could be healing um, or needing to heal. I feel like they are healing some trauma from their childhood or something. What is this Page of Cups in reverse with the Six of Pentacles? I mean, Six of Cups. The star, yeah, I just said that. Thank you, spirit. This person is healing. Or they want to heal this connection with you. You shared past lives with this person. Um, you could be a healer of some sort, but they definitely want to heal this with you. They just don't. Like, the communication is not coming right now because I just feel like they don't know how to express themselves. They don't. They're a bit immature. They're a bit emotionally mature, but we have King of Cups here twice. So somebody here has healed. That's what that is. Somebody has healed. And they're ready to express their feelings because we have it here upright. King of Cups right here. King of Cups up here with the Knight of Swords. This person here. Th this is somebody else's fucking energy. I don't know. <laughs> this shit is confusing. They're hoping that... I feel like this person is deleting texts and then rewriting them. They don't know. They don't know what to say or how to say it. So they keep... They're like, should I offer this person money or a gift? Or no, I shouldn't do that. Should I just tell this person how I fucking feel? Uh, it's like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But the King of Cups, the Page of Cups is a younger King of Cups. Somebody here is matured. So is this person, they, they have healed. They want to bring healing to the connection. They're coming out of re regret, sadness, remorse, whatever. And they're ready for a commitment with you. It shows here. But this, I feel like this is all about inner child healing. This person has healed their inner child. You know, they just have somebody in the background that they're dealing with that is just petty as fuck. Somebody, like, uses emotional manipulation is what I'm feeling like. somebody Somebody's healing, though. They see through that. <clears throat> yeah, this person, I just feel like they have somebody here deal, deals with, like, um, could possibly be sexual abuse. I really don't like that, but it's here with the Page of Cups in reverse with the Six of Cups and the Star. Somebody's healing childhood trauma. That's just period. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with how they look to their image. They just they don't want to look a certain way. But somebody definitely childish, though. <laughs> whatever this is, somebody's they're dealing with childish shit. Somebody's controlling or whatever. What is this fool right here in reverse? The King of Swords. Yeah, this person is a little cold right now, aloof. They want to bring you some type of truth and clarity, though. Somebody that's controlling could be holding this person back. This person could be waiting on, like, a court situation to pull through or... 
getting some information about that. What is the fool in reverse with the king of swords? Nine of, nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody has given up on something. They don't want to take a leap of faith forward to whatever this is. This person. What else for the fool in reverse? Oh, this is you. You've given up on this person because they keep being cold towards you. What else for the fool in reverse? Three of cups again. Yeah. There, there's a reconciliation coming up, man. Oh, okay. This is somebody dropping their guards here. They're scared to take this leap, though. They, they're trying to drop their guards, but they're still coming off very cold, very aloof, very detached, right? But I feel like this is more than wanting to tell the truth. Let's see. What is this King of Swords for Sag? Who is this King of Swords? This person, the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, they, they want a new passionate beginning with you. They're just trying to figure out how to fuck to come in. I feel like this person has like some type of personality i was gonna say disorder but i don't know this person could switch up in a heartbeat they just feel one way one minute and the next minute it's just all cookies and cream and i, I don't know this person is just confusing as fuck <laughs> they're confusing as hell man they are i feel like it's, it's on top of the fact that they're dealing with these energies in the background that aren't really helping them they're not it's not it's not helping them here at all. It's just making them feel even more confused. A fool in reverse could be somebody. Maybe this person wants to tell you about an immature action that they made in the past. Okay, with a foolish energy, another foolish energy. Somebody is scared of change here. That's what that is. But that I feel like this person is breaking down. They can't do it anymore. Somebody here can't is somebody here is not taking a leap of faith towards a person that yeah, okay. It's a lot going on, Sage. So I'm just leave it there. Let's just move on, man. Because we got all these kings here. King of Wands, King of Cups twice, King of Swords, the Emperor. What a what Sagittarius needs to know, man. I feel like with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands, use your intuition when this person comes back because they're foolish. They're going to keep doing foolish shit to you. I feel like this is somebody that you've healed from already. And they're just like, I don't know, I was going to say like, sh they just like in shapeshifter energy. They're coming back acting one way, but I feel like you know already what this person got going on. And then you have your actual person wanting to express feelings to you and shit like that. It's just people all over the fucking place, bro sacrifice it says sometimes surrender is painful god's cutting away all that needs to go illusions obsessions addictions it's a sacrifice to love yeah this it's a lot going on man and someone's life it's just a lot we have divine abundance you were born to align with love's will follow the Follow the towel and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant and not chase it. Yeah. What else? Karma. Okay, karma could be playing out here. That's what I mean. The judgment is here. There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in this current life. <laughs> But it's, it, this is somebody's fighting something. Definitely healing um, past life karma or clearing out karmic debt. Yeah. What else for Sag? Three more. All right. We have detachment. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. Yeah. Then we have gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Then we have invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready. God, pursue me. Yeah. Somebody, <laughs> I feel like somebody is calling on God about this karma. Somebody is getting karma for something that they did. Shit is not looking up for them. It's not going their fucking way. yeah or this could be this third party or whatever this is <laughs> but anyways guys i hope this resonated if it did like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye